Tomorrow, we will enter the third month of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. And though we haven't had any storms threaten us this season so far, it is important to be prepared. So a lot of weeks to go. And this morning, we are looking at the special tools emergency officials use to forecast so that we know when to evacuate. Katie joins us now. And Katie, you know, those models sometimes give conflicting information. Yes. So oh, people yeah. sometimes don't know what to listen to. They do, and, and so there's many different things, and I think the meteorologists kind of breaking it down is good because storm models tend to vary, and storms are difficult to predict. And this is why emergency managers use hurricane simulators to weigh thousands of possibilities to make sure evacuations are ordered when needed. Planning for a hurricane means high stake decisions must be made quickly, especially when you're the person or organization responsible for people's lives and preparedness. The, the aspects of planning for hurricanes, uh, it carries over into so many other hazards. The consequences of failing to evacuate or of evacuating too late can be deadly. Most of the time, the high stakes are also coupled with not being sure of the exact path and intensity of the storm. It's a positive from a negative situation that we, is that we always have a chance to do the things that we need to do during our worst disasters. A hurricane simulator has the capability of introducing thousands of hurricane scenarios. Each is different and has different complications. Much like a real storm, the hurricane simulator is unpredictable. The forecast won't always be spot on in a simulation, much like an actual forecast, but you can come close. Uh, we have actually a tool that we can look at past hurricanes, compare with what the, cur the, the current one is, like central pressure, how big it is. This allows the team to explore how storms in the tropics will interact with climate and how our climate may be changing in the future. Katie Garner, Channel 4, the local station. Now, depending on the category of the fictional simulated hurricane, you can decipher what level of damage may occur in a given area should that cat hurricane actually hit. How catastrophic would it be? And could it impact cell towers? Will it knock out gas stations? Typically, you simulate worst case scenarios so people can prepare. And it's all about preparation. And you know, I thought, I'm sure we all have, as we we track these really hot temperatures, you oh. think about the warmth of the of the water and the ocean, which is right. usually what fuels a lot of these yes. hurricanes. And you're just yes. keeping your fingers crossed, hoping that that doesn't make it more active a season than, than we saw last year. You're right, and kind of drawn into what you just said there, the warmer water kind of fuels the hurricanes, yeah. but the warmer temperatures fuel storms mm -hmm. here locally, and that's what's gonna happen today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. we've been seeing that.